The handset that BlackBerry fanatics have been clamoring for is finally here. This is the BlackBerry Q10, and this is the first BlackBerry 10 smartphone with its own physical keyboard. We want to show you some differences between this latest model and a previous BlackBerry Bold. So as you can see, the Q10 is slightly larger, but the main difference is that it gives, it gives up the physical buttons up here, and it actually extends the keyboard frets out to add some rigidity to the design itself. Keys are also slightly larger, and as you can see, they're much straighter, and it kind of lends to a better typing experience. And quite frankly, the typing on this keyboard is the best that we've ever had on any kind of physical keyboard. So uh, BlackBerry's really won in that department. One of the things that you give up for for the keyboard, however, is screen size. And what we want to do is just, for comparison's sake, show you this. This is the Z10, the first BlackBerry uh, 10 smartphone uh, next to the Q10. And we just want to show you real quickly a website. So this is, uh, the Q10 has a 3.1 inch screen, the Z10 has a 4.3 inch screen. And you can see you give up a lot, a lot of real estate. And it's not just to the fact that you have the key, uh, physical keyboard down there, but you also have the, the menu down here. So you have to type in web addresses and things of that nature. You're giving up quite a lot of, of screen space. And then even when you zoom in, see, we'll just uh, tap in. You, you, it's kind of difficult to read, whereas this, on the Z10, it'll make it much easier to read. It'll kind of correctly scale the screen for you. You can zoom in and read like that. You can do the same on here, but it just, it's just not as intuitive. Um, gaming, obviously, is going to be a lot more difficult, but chances are Q10 users aren't going to be spending a lot of their time playing games. It still has the same BlackBerry 10 interface, uh, you know, great multitasking features. We have the BlackBerry Hub over here. Uh, you have, obviously, the active frames. When you open an app, you can just scroll up, and there it is. You can get up to eight there. Uh, with the Q10, they did away with the actual search button here. Uh, what you can do instead is you can just start typing on the keyboard and I'll search. So for instance, if you want to search for, let's say Facebook, you can just start typing F-A-C-E and you can get the Facebook app and anyone uh, that may have uh, a name similar to Face uh, will come up. You can also type directly to Facebook by just typing F-B and then space and then you can just write an update and it'll be able to post directly there. Beyond that, BlackBerry's given some basic updates uh, to the phone uh, in terms of uh, performance. They've added an HDR camera shooting mode so that anytime you shoot a photo in HDR mode you can actually get two photos so in case the HDR photo looks bad you have the standard one to fall back on. In general we are cautious of the Q10. Uh, the display is again very small so that's going to put off a lot of users. The battery life that we got on the Peacekeeper battery test was pretty poor uh, around for 56 minutes, four hours, 56 minutes. Uh, but the, the, the typing experience is top notch. And if you're the kind of person that's gonna be hammering out a lot of emails, a lot of text messages, things like that, then the Q10 is certainly a phone worth checking out.